Another tech tip on the active fuel management systems, otherwise known as displacement on demand for GM cars and trucks to do the 468 system. Now, the heart of the system is the valve lifter oil manifold assembly. In addition to doing electrical tests on the solenoids themselves, where they're supposed to be 11 to 18 ohms at this connector, there's also a test described in the factory service manual using a special tool, EN46999 actually from Kent Moore, that plugs into, actually screws into this spot right here. Now normally there's a filter in there, it's been removed for this shot, and that filter is one thing that can get plugged if people don't change their oil regularly, and that can cause cylinders to either not deactivate or not reactivate. And the process of using that special tool and air pressure from shop air to activate the solenoids with the tool and then also look for pressure changes, not only here, but at the feed to the whole oil system, at the oil filter with a bunch of special adapters. If you don't have all that equipment, what do you do as a professional tech in the field? Well, my answer to you would be, use your scan tool and a compression gauge and do a running compression test. So with the VLOM hooked up, nothing is connected, just like the truck came in, what you want to do is do a running compression test where you're going to remove one spark plug, you're going to disable the ignition circuit for that particular cylinder, screw in the compression gauge to one of the four cylinders that the VLOM is going to be responsible for deactivating, and just start the engine. Now, if you've never done a running compression test, be advised you need to remove the Schrader valve from the end of your compression gauge. Otherwise, it's going to get all gunked up with stuff from the engine. And once you've removed the Schrader valve and screwed the compression gauge into the spark plug hole, you're going to start that engine and then you're going to use your scan tool. You're going to use your scan tool to access the bi-directional commands to activate each of the four solenoids on the bottom of this VLOM right here. So as you activate a solenoid, you can kill one cylinder's compression at a time and look for your compression to check your compression reading to change. Now be advised, like I mentioned before, if you've never done a running compression test, your compression number will be much lower than a normal compression test on a good cylinder. So check a couple cylinders that are not affected by active fuel management, aka displacement on demand. See what you're seeing, typically about 50% of a cranking compression test. And with that number in mind, go to the cylinders affected by the active fuel management activate that solenoid to kill the cylinder. Basically, it allows the valve lifter to no longer open and the valve stays shut. See if your compression reading on a running compression test changes when you activate the solenoid. If they don't, then you have a problem with oil flow or the solenoids mechanically.